Ah, just enjoying my time on the swing. Ooh, what's that? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you want to play some chess, my friend? Oh, yes. Why not? So I have a little game. Uh, I wouldn't rattle the chess board. It's made out of chain mail. Uh, uh but how about this? One stake. Okay, that means I automatically win, by the way. Hey, uh, I'm with H.T. Wicks again. Uh, never hung out with him yep. in the month of September at all, my fact. Haven't been with yeah. him since, I think, episode 14, which I actually am currently editing. You can see how far back I am. But I'm here with the Wicks boy here. He's been busy with stuff. Yep. Like, I guess, taking yeah. care of a kitten. Yep. She's been a handful, but... I yeah. should be good to go now. I, 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 I've taken care of kittens sometime. Like, in April and this last August, I was doing some kitten stuff. Kit kitteny business? Nah, I've just got some uh, people who have a cat, and like they're always traveling, so I just kind of like take care of their two kids. They're actually kids, technically. They were just born last August. Alright. Yeah, just put it there. Well. So, you had, so you told me something. That was worthy of being on documentation. So, what is it, my friend? Well, I've been thinking. I'm feeling a little bit burnt out, right? With everything yeah. going on. So, I've been thinking, how about I just start afresh and wipe the slate clean? And so, who else can I do that with besides this lovely man right here? Yeah, I'm a pretty lovely dude. I mean, look at my fleshy diamond armor. Uh, I would take mm -hmm. it off to accompany your emptiness, but, like, I kind of am filled with... Ugh. 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 There we go. Those aren't needed, by the way. You need to put those back, because I'm working on very special projects, which you will see in a second. Uh, yes. So Sounds interesting. This way, we're not gonna fly, because we're, we're civilized human beings. We walk with our feet. Yes. Obviously, we have uh, Fog's famous cow farm, where I get my source of lovely beef. You know, mm, tasty. Then this way we have this thing that you worked on me with for episode 13. But yeah, oh wow, it's not really changed that much. But we've been it's doing getting a lot of there. Work. But we've actually been doing a lot of work on the test world. This whole thing is basically done in the test world. If you know what I mean. Well, that's nice. If you want to see well, that, it's looking but, good. But yeah. Hmm. This is just a little base, right? Fog isn't much of a person. I was thinking of, like, outlining the whole thing and building it right away and then doing work on it, but he'd rather just start from the bottom and go up. So, it's yeah. probably a good But idea. I think you haven't really seen Fog's little special project. That I've really assisted with him. Oh. Uh, oh, this, he's got a special project, too. Uh, no. And I've also mm -hmm. been... I've also been hearing a lot of zombies here recently. Is this it's where they... Unsafe work. I've always heard them. I've been so annoyed. I tried digging around here. I was wondering if they were getting stuck at the wall. It seems like they just kind of camped the outside of my base. So Looks like you've got a raider problem. Yeah. Get some. I've usually been a torch guy, but you know what? Uh, zombies aren't that torch. much of a threat anymore. I mean, they, were, they, they, were, like, they were a threat for only the first week of the S&P. Then everyone's mm. diamonded up, as you know. Diamonded. That's not a word. Everyone's geared up, that's better. Yeah, rare that's kind of the thing I've been meaning to talk about you with. Because all this diamond, it just takes a bit of the fun away, you know? So, yeah, you know. I want to go back to the basics, old school. Look at me, I'm, just... I'm pretty basic too. I need to update my cape for my yellow color. But yeah, anyhow, if we head this way, maybe I'll join you on your little journey. Since I have left a couple bases, I'm no longer part of Kratz base anymore. I mean, Kratz too inactive for me to keep it up with him. I mean, that might be a yeah. good place for you to get your restart, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because it's already kind nah. of foundation, and you know, it was my first place. Where'd you go? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm kind of stuck in the trees. Hey, Mr. Sheep. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we do go. Do a little parkour. I'm, I'm really master at jungle parkour. I've had a lot of oh, I am the worst. In, the in the past. So, over the hill, we have a little bit of a clearing. It's taken about five weeks, maybe a little less. Oh, wow. Four weeks. But I've got, oh, I forgot my feather on. It's not on. Okay, don't do that. Oh, same. Let's munch up. Yeah, steaks are pretty popular uh, food source here. I'm pretty sure the vegans are pretty mad about that. Yeah, so here's your 
Wow. There's a cat. Uh, if you guys saw Mine Connor 2018, they are going to be adding new or more cats along with pandas. Fog told me not to explore this biome anymore, so we get the new biomes to spawn in, but like, or explore the rest of the jungle, but that doesn't work out, obviously. This is actually one of my parrots, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so we've been storing stuff in this little crate here. Oh, this but looks we cool. cleared out this entire jungle. Hey, did you hit my parrot? No. Okay. Let him sleep or stay out Just... here in the sun. Oh. There we go. Put him in a hole. Excuse Just me? Rest up. Rest up, little one. This is not a home for a parrot. It's a ground parrot. You'll Native to, to South America. Yeah. That's the problem with the Minecraft jungle biomes. They're gonna be, I actually thought this, literally. If they're adding pandas, pandas are like native to the Chinese and probably Vietnamese jungles. And parrots are native mm -hmm. to South American slash North American jungles. Like Mexico, Central America, that stuff. You know, that's North America. It's about the Mexican. So what is this type of place you want to migrate to? Well, I'm not really sure. I just kind of want to start afresh, like get all my other stuff and... I'm not sure if I want to part with it for now, so probably just keep it in some shulkers hidden away somewhere. So, but uh, just start completely afresh in a new area. I so, think we can have a little fun with that, but no nether tunneling. Yes, we can. I am a master no. of travel. Have you ever wanted I think to we see should... the world? You don't have your life. Yeah, we could be the nomads. Uh, no, I do not at the moment. That's actually I will... okay. We can take a couple horses. If there are any left after you shot the skeleton horses. We can go on a little oh. journey. Because you see, back in the past, I used to travel around Minecraft on just horses. Because I was too cheap to get elytra. Like, I used to join S SMPs. They basically lasted, like, all of them lasted at most three months. And uh, I was never too rich. You know, so I lived the hard way. And sometimes I think it's better to actually have to do that than fly on elytra. Yeah. So I I've got, you um... A few diamonds, but it's just after a certain point they feel worthless, you know. So I actually quite I definitely agree with that statement. We like I've got fifty nine blocks in the bag, and so what I was thinking was the jungle. For a second, I was like, "Oh, we could just be our neighbor in the jungle," but I'm like, "No, no, no. Everyone bases in jungles." Have I was gonna yeah. do a mega tiger? Boof is staying at one. I have not seen her base in a long time, though. What do you think about mega tiger? Mega Tiger sounds fun. Side. We'll see what we find. A oh, route four is too boring. Uh, if you want to grab some steak before a long journey, you might actually eat no. some. I'm I'll be fine. I'm gonna go on a little fish. killing spree. Okay. Even if I don't cook Wait. it up, I'm still gonna kill some. I'm just gonna pop over to Fog's little base at the moment, and I'm gonna just dump all the stuff I've got away, and then I'll be ready for our adventure. Just. Start with what nothing. About that? Start with nothing. Oh, pigment. Die. Well, I am just about set. Got an iron pick, boat, and a compass. That's all I need. Actually, compasses are kind of useless. Dude. All right. Yeah, Anyhow. they are pretty useless, but it, it helps with the vibe, you We're know? We're gonna just go explorers. to the east. Or do you want to head south? Actually, that's where Kingstone yeah. is. Let's go east. Into Let's the jungle head east. we go. So. Are you Just ready? head through. Yeah, okay. we'll start our adventures. Let's go, my friend. And yeah, this is going to be a little fun. This is going to be kind of like that point five episode I did with Bielder a long time ago. Where we traveled to get our stuff back after we lost it. But this time I'm going with... Uh, Bye, by the way, if he says you gotta go. But this time I'm going with HG Wix, and this time I have my feather falling boots, but didn't even nice. I land on vines, anyways. Come on, jump down, be... jump down. Men of the jungle. We're gonna just head east. I mean, it doesn't matter how far we go. Until we just go to. to. I don't Chase have a plan. Sun. Chase the sun. Chase. Well, I think heading west would be chasing the sun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, well. We'll chase where the sun rises. So, guys, if we run into horses, I hope we can do a salad to tame one. That's my plan, at least. And if we run into the ocean, yeah. we're going to go on a little boat trip, you know? Ooh. Beach. Oh, this looks interesting. 
This is not the place for you. We're only this far. No. Come on. It takes like need to go further. Minutes to go to the light trail over here. Yeah, we gotta go all the way out. Look at gotta that find the sunset. right place. That is just spectacular. See, it's new beginnings. Just yeah, sun like setting it. over the old world. Yeah. The old world. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not Christmas we should Columbus yet. Burn it down. <laughs> Burn down all the villages we run into. Ooh, Swampland. Ooh, this looks interesting. Donkey. All right. I wish I Oh, had those are going to be very two, useful. Two donkeys, actually. Oh, we can so we ride have, those. Do we, have a, do we have a saddle? Um. You know what? Well, that was an Stay here. That was an I will go back and get us a saddle. How about that? Okay, Wait, you go get some of the- I'll tame these donkeys. Well, that was a abrupt start, but no, I think fine. once we get- once we get some saddles, we'll be- we'll be fine. Yeah, at least you feel like- it's technically not cheating because I'm using my legs to get back. Okay, yeah. Seattle. Wait. I just said Seattle. Well, while you're getting some saddles, do you want to actually get some chests too? Because you can put chests on the donkeys and they can us, be out. Uh, some wool for, yeah, I can get that, sure. Okay, hopefully Fog has a couple saddles. He should have a couple saddles. Everyone has saddles these days. Oh dear, there's some phantoms my... after me. I am not ready for this. Dig a hole. Yeah, I'm just hiding in the cliff here. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to come out here with nothing. Come just on. Nothing is just alone in the open. For a lot. Yeah. Well, that is very true. You know, more is less, maybe I'll just have to... Less is more. We could get some from fishing. We could just make a little fishing rod and just do that, but that might take a while. Come on, I've got a regular fishing rod. Let me check my ender chest in case I have some... Ooh, I have diamond horse armor. But do I have saddles? No, of course I don't. When I want it, I don't have it. Ooh, I have an idea. Fog won't mind yeah. borrowing one of his shelter shells. We can bring a little backpack with us. Also make the Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Start the nomadic life. Because, you know, I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Just, Actually, just wander exactly. around. Yeah, there's a lot of creepers. That's basically all there Except is. It's a temporary camp. Yes, there we go. Okay, a little camp house here. I have torches, so we can my own way. Ah. Oh, yeah. So, we can uh, put a little trap out the front. Ah! Oh crap. I'm your guardian. There we go. I've got this guy encased. I don't, I can't really encase the other one now enough block. Oh my gosh, it's like full attack no. mode out here. No, no, no. Get out of there. How do I get out? Okay, I've got an idea. Sadly gonna have to lay a light show. Okay. That is actually a scary endeavor. Ah! Back oh my to gosh, the there's, a whole, there's a whole the whole pack of skeletons. Ca there's a whole pack of caverns. skeletons out there. Back to the this is scary, this man. This is a problem. This is why back in the day we could just travel through the night like nothing. But recently... Yeah, but now there's less people on the server. ...have arrived. I think because there's less people on the server, now we're just getting all the mob spawns. I mean, if, if I almost died, imagine how much you were going to die. So... Yeah, I got down to like half health there, so... I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh no, never mind. Oh, yeah. Look at that amount of mobs. No, no. Yeah. Get it's back. pretty deadly. How about we just stay in our little cabin for now? Okay, so I'm thinking we need a game plan. We need to make some plans, don't you think? I'm oh, sorry, Soft, wow. but we need a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Hey. How am I gonna be a sacrifice? Why would I be a sacrifice? Why? You've gotta do it. It's our only hurt. Okay, Just go out there and take place. him down. <laughs> That's a lot of creepers. I'm heading back. Oh my gosh. The plane Look how I... many there are. Yeah, that... There's ten. Why did you leave? <laughs> now you're just putting your life at risk. I'm luring them away. No, I, I'm fast enough. Okay, sheep, sheep, sheep. Oh my gosh, there. that is a lot of creepers. I got him. It's like, the, the moon's about to set anyways, but for next night, I mean, we're gonna need... <gasps> Librarian, huh? Hey, boy, you, you've been, you've been, 
long gone from the life of villagers. I have never seen so many mobs. Like, actually. Yeah. This is intense. Seven -year -old battles. One of them's a left-handed one, too. Stay away oh, from my hobbit hole, friend. Or not friend. Totally yeah. Not friend. Okay, I have the bed supplies. Well, I thought this journey would be quite easy, but the monsters of the night are really coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I really hope we get a battle. Not even a joke. You know what? I can go on Ooh, a oh. bow! Okay, I, I'm gonna go on one last effort to get us a sound and check my uh, the other base. I feel like I might need to, like, use some of the stuff I've got hidden away, because, yeah, I said I wouldn't use it, but some of it might come in handy, like, hey. I brought some bone meal or something. Yep, I've got two saddles. I'm just bare-fisting this creeper. So I've got- My gosh, there are so many creepers. Box. Anything we collect that's a little extra and you want to, like, put away, put it in our well, box, okay? Yeah, that should be, should be good. Also, we'll have to head over to the swamp. Uh, I don't know if that would be a good idea. I think we should just head over there and see if we can get some leads. Alright, which one if do you want? You want boy in a box? Uh, or do you want uh, I'll take the dirt guy. Okay, take He your looks saddle. like a... A genuine filler. Ah, uh, dawn. As the sun starts to rise, H.G. Yeah, and I are ready to leave for yeah. our next journey. Are you yes. ready? Got so. our lovely horses ready. Our steeds to take off on this journey. Yes, I believe I have the shulker box, which is our special journey box. I believe I already gave you the saddle. And the yes, I have prepared my horse. This guy was annoying night so now he dies uh yes let me add my Look at this. little got... chest here there got we go 12 or 15 oh. boxes of storage oh. here i can put the shulker box in here yeah i'm just checking in my woolen mob stuff okay let's go are you huh. ready Ooh, so is not that much of a high jumper let's continue yeah they can't jump over two Into blocks the which is pretty we'll head. Oh, wait, head to the mountains quickly let me uh put on my chest plate so i look fancier Ah, this guy's kind of nice. Sweet, as you can see, but at least yeah, they good. aren't that they're, great. They're good but mountain climbers, so off we yeah, head. we will find some better horses along the way, I'm sure. But for now, these will be our trusty steeds. They'll get us to where we need to go. Huh? Some Look at the pigs. Looks so different these days. Yeah, the water's really. I think it looks nicer with the water. Yeah. But Ooh. it could always use a bit more. Like algae or something. Looks a bit bland. Let's go across this valley. So, have you heard the tale of the two swords? No, I have not. The legend has it that in this very valley, there were two great fighters, both exactly equal in strength. And they fought, but their swords had great power. Which is not negative, by the way. Ooh. And they struck each other both equally and their swords combined to form the greatest sword of all time in all legend and folk tale look at this little crevice here mm. all right maybe that should be our goal find the sword it should be somewhere within this mountain this mountain is a pretty good place for you to set up a camp i almost think oh look at this been... it's even got magical properties look at this floating snow ah yes you can tell that this is the true area where the two, the battle of the two swords. I don't the know. swords are affecting nature. Yeah, and changing our reality. Yeah, I think this is a perfect place for you to set up camp, especially because of the things over there. Rift forest. Here, there's. Oh, this mamas. is pretty. Pretty. Oh, we can get some of them going. I believe you have some tools. So yeah, this is actually. I, have... I would recommend. I would highly recommend if you want to live the nomad life. If you kept describing, I would highly recommend setting up a camp up here. Like, I can still yeah. help you get one. Where should it go? Where would it look good, though? Depends. Down there's a flat mm -hmm. area. We could build these. I think it needs. Maybe, maybe like, under some of these overhangs, like, inset into the cliff. So, this is our new Not territory sure. where we shall colonize. This will be the, the great empire one day. So, this is the perfect uh, area. This is a good area right here. With all the overhangs. Wait, where are you? I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Mm, yeah, this looks great. Hey, look at all those trees up the top. Got the 
wonderful ornamental yeah, strawberries. Let's check out the area. So, there's a lot of territory for you. Ooh, yeah, this is actually a pretty legit... This is nice. Can... Ah, look at oh, that a... waterfall. Yeah. This is the life. Oh, look over this there! Is the... See right over there? We're heading there. Yeah? Right? That's the perfect spot for you. Oh, place. that is so cool. That is the definite area. Now this is some nice countryside. Yeah, it's... I don't really define it as countryside. It's more like a northern part of the country. Well, actually, we're kind of east. Easternmost. Alright, right here. How about this spot? Wow, this is right nice. Here. So, let's get started. Uh, we're let's set up a little party. encampment. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll just dump them here for now in this little okay. cabin. I can get us a couple of trees growing. growing. So, grab a do you like if you the Um, yeah, no, you gave me mind. one bone I, I have it. Alright, grow you up here. Ooh, some tree. Of course, I have my superior uh, weaponry technology, so I can just easily destroy it. Oh, yeah. Well, if you want to pop your. Yeah. Come put it in the stables. Or the temporary holding place. This will be a useful spot for them. Yeah, that should so, keep them safe for now. Alright. Non roleplay like discussion here for a sec for here or here for a second. Uh ooh, look at that nice crevice over there. Wanna like build ooh. a couple like paths around the area? And I'd like yeah. the style you keep is very generally, you know, I would say dwarven ish. Not really that dwarven. More like yeah, just like a camp and like a little base on the tower. Don't make it futuristic. Yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of just simplistic. Yeah. Make like gravel paths going across the mountains and have. I will have me and me and me and probably Fog will help you out later. Where? Because right now, today's Wednesday night. Well, actually, I'm on holidays right now. Oh, you're on holidays? Got... Oh. Christmas. Yeah, we've got like two week holidays. Wait, what? No, it would be a. Uh, it's already. We've already had our autumn equinox. So, you know, our autumn equinox is your spring equinox. So. Yeah. Our holidays are like really weird. Dude, I'm not even kidding. I went out on the little walk. I went on a three hour walk because I'm a very nature bend. Not nature, just like atmospheric and vibe person. 58 degrees weather tomorrow. I'm going to definitely go on a walk. But uh, on the autumn equinox, I went on a really long walk. It was, it's what I consider the perfect weather. Not too warm, but too cold. Some people like warm, yeah, that is good. cold. I think, I think. It's a little bit on the cold side, but I like it. Anyhow, uh, we need this. This is extra blockage here. Let's get you set up with a little camp here. So, we okay. can begin off. Firstly, I think we need some trees to okay, get going. Okay, let me get you some trees. Going. So, this will Ooh, be this our is... little temporary establishment. We're colonizers now. Meanwhile, uh, we have to discuss this legend of the two swords. Or that. Yes. I forgot what I was exactly saying. Not like I'm forgetting the story or anything. Not like I made it up or anything. You know? But like. Uh, yeah, I'm completely kinda, not. I'm kind of forgetting. Was this already? Was this done by you? Ooh. Maybe this is the owners of the swords. Yeah. Maybe Ancient dwelling. Oh, now yeah. we'll leave we should this like... whole unexplored. There might be some. I'll leave logs here. This might be the exact cave. We might just get really lucky and have this be the exact cave. Where the sword yeah. is, ha, probably not, <laughs> right? But this could be my second base since it's really close to my other base, obviously. Uh, we will oh, yeah. probably set up a nether tunnel eventually. Like, but we'll make Maybe. it like, fancy. Like, it'll be a ruined cavern that you have to head through that connects the gateways between the two powerful mountains. Because this is a very powerful mountain, and it's filled with enchanted, yeah. enchanted stuff. I'd recommend you place the bed down, by the way. So, ah. H.U. Wicks and I are going to get on a little work at the colony now. Uh, you know. And we'll be back with you guys soon. Ah, this thing should be on now. Uh, hello. So, hello, this Trevor. is uh, Sarfnik. And I'm here with uh, the, the the great explorer H.U. Wicks, 19... Whoa, don't, don't 42. Camera, 1942. And we have headed to the Two Swords Mountain. And... We're planning to set up a colonization camp here, and everyone yeah. seems to be. We'll touch the locals. I don't, I haven't really met seen any locals yet, although slave I'm labor. Sure. Yeah, we could use we could use some. 
slaves out here. Uh, it's a pretty beautiful place out here. Ah, that's better uh, settings. So, yeah, if you look around here, we have a uh, zoom in pigs and all such. We have been currently setting up a little uh, tree camp here. We rode on we rode in on the mules here, as you can see. These guys. This is uh, Danny and this is Joseph. They're both pretty nice. Hey, careful, careful! You're gonna bash your head up there. Come on, man. It's, it's make it a little. It's not lodging. safe up there. Okay, it's not safe up there. But yeah, uh, maybe. Hey, you want to show them what we found? That could possibly be the cave where the two swords are kept hidden. Well, we were just doing our colonization stuff. Yeah. And we were just exploring the area, and we came across this. So who knows what could be inside it? It we covered it up with dirt and wood, obviously, but there seemed to be a crevice. It could lead basically anywhere. We have no idea. Yes, could be anything. So yeah, day Sorry. one or technically uh, day zero actually of our day zero of our new place. It's 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 a very beautiful spot, totally with all. The wildlife and nature we man, once we send the once we send the, the powerful nation of uh everneth around here they shall hopefully set up a a, a road and a wonderful castle to accompany this beautiful landscape all right guys uh it is the next day it's actually pretty late at night as you can see here uh, we have started foundations of our little camp here, as you know. Uh, we are great experienced builders. And yeah. starting up, I've kind of put some foundation light down, even though I can lay down some more around the area to make sure, you know, there's nothing left. Actually, I am quite out of torches. But this is going to be, uh, this, 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 this young explorer's new house. He's looking for a fresh start. He's had enough of the rich city life, as he tells me in the interview. So, uh, HUX, uh, the great explorer from, uh, the land of Everneth, I believe that you help them on a lot of their journeys, traveling across, bringing supplies to neighboring tribes and cities. Uh, how do you feel? Yes, I have. What made you choose to move out here so far out in the middle of, like, nowhere, in the Two Sword Valley, where... No man has dared to go since many people went missing trying to find out the story. What makes you choose this spot exactly? Well, I just felt like the it was too busy. Just being rich is hard, you know? So I just yeah. wanted to come back to the simple you life, you know? To, you don't get to, like, explore, like, build a camp. You just gotta, like, do some stupid jobs. I mean, well, I, I have a stupid job, documentary filming, but... No, it's not stupid. I mean, it's interesting. I know city life can be interesting, but sometimes you know you gotta go back to those human origins and build up a Just build up a civilization of so your own. Start your own civilization. Start your own colony. Plus, you also are kind of benefiting your own land specifically because you're helping them expand their empire in a good way. Exactly. So yes. I feel like that's why we just will chosen the simple keep life. Keep you all updated with day three coming up soon. All right, guys, this is actually a couple days later. I just saw what HG Wix has done while I was gone. So he's finished off our little house to work on. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool stuff right here. There's some pigs. I don't know how or why. Parrots. HG's cozy bed and Sark's warm bed. Here's my shelter box. Like he's got some stuff too. I think this is his parrot. Uh, he's got stuff in the chest. So he's pretty well stocked up. Yeah, that's pretty good. And if I head this way, he's also got an official animal pen with some llamas. And our mules with lungs some horses. Pretty nice, he's even decorated it with some hay bales. He's also got this little crop farm here, looks pretty nice, and right next to it is a little tunnel. I have no idea where this leads, it's probably just a mine. So yeah, this is our new base being worked on. Okay, that's so right here. I am at spawn with my friend Fog. How you doing? So, anyhow. I think 
I'm doing pretty good. I just barely finished this. This looks pretty beautiful, doesn't it? So, he basically spent, like, the entire week working on his beautiful spawn house. He had it on the plot world, or the creative world, so now... Test world. Yeah, test world. I guess creative world is the same thing. There's still yeah. a couple couple features I would get rid of. What, what's, what's wrong with the aquarium? Why do you not like it? It's just... But aquariums are good everywhere. My spawn house probably seen the episodes, uh, but... Do you have one? Yeah. Wanna come with me? I haven't seen one. Here, I'm just gonna it, put some buttons up. It's not yet. I have no idea... Uh, no idea who this belongs to. Remember, this is a really fancy place. Whereabouts? It's like a mansion somewhere. Is it right next to mine? <laughs> no, it's not. But here's a question that's been pondering in my head for a little bit. First off... Okay. I wonder if this mansion... They haven't even cleared my little water prank. Come on. Is... is the, oh, yeah. It's because really it takes wet. a while to clean up. No, like... It takes not... It takes really short to clean up. I could clean this up in two minutes. Well, I mean, I suppose if you do have sponge, then it is pretty fast, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry about the quality of my mic in this episode. It was on some bad settings. Anyhow, Everdeath has been a bit slow recently, but... It comes with a gift, obviously. I am all caught up in episodes now. More episodes coming soon now that Christmas time is around. I didn't do anything for Halloween. All I've got to say is stay tuned and we're going to be starting some fun projects and finishing our other projects too.